everyone. So as you can tell, I have no makeup on right now and I'm gonna be doing another get ready with me video. Now I haven't done one of these in so long. I can't remember the last time I actually did one because I just feel like I wear such natural neutral makeup that it's not interesting when I show you guys what I do. So give this a thumbs up if you guys wanna see more get ready with me videos or tutorials. But yeah, I just don't feel like I'm the best one to do them. Like there's so many creative looks out there on YouTube and then there's like little old me doing like a natural, very very natural smoky eye. <laughs> but I'm also going to be doing this because I want to show you guys a lot of the products I've been talking about. Now I've talked about them in my favorites videos, I've talked about them in other videos, but you guys have never gotten to see them in action. The It Cosmetics CC Cream that I talked about in my February favorites is going to be in this video so you guys will be able to see the coverage. I also have three new brow products that I've been using together and loving. I'm also using a couple new NYX products that I just recently got into and then a very very exciting lip product that I haven't mentioned on my channel yet. Guys, this thing is incredible. So I'm going to go ahead and dive right into moisturizer. Now you guys know I've been like using quite a few moisturizers, but the CeraVe one is one that I have not been reaching for lately. They actually reformulated this because the reason I stopped using it was because it did not contain broad spectrum SPF, but now it does. So I picked up one of these recently in Meyer. I do feel like it has a little bit different of like a texture than it did before, but it's working. It does smell a lot like sunscreen though. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. I still feel like it's super creamy though and it does really really well for my dry skin especially wearing it under makeup oh but it just smells so much like sunscreen at least it soaks in pretty quickly though now that I have that on, I'm going to go into my Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I talked about this in my February Hits and Misses video, and I say it that way because this was a miss. I just can't get over the texture of this stuff. It's super thick, but it's not like easy to blend, so I'm just going to apply that very, very gently under my eyes. It's so hard to work with the heck? I'm going to be wearing eyeshadow today, so I'm going to start with my eyes just so I don't have a lot of fallout on my finished face. So I'm going to be priming with my Maybelline Master Prime Long Lasting Eyeshadow Base in Prime and Smooth. And this has been a really nice drugstore alternative to eye primers. eyeshadow today I'm going to be using the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay palette now I have not talked a lot about this on my channel um, I don't know if I've ever really mentioned it but these colors are beautiful this was a palette that I did not originally like go out and get I was excited for it but I wasn't like tracking it down and like getting it right when it came out I thought the colors were pretty but just because I don't wear eyeshadows a lot I figured I don't need another palette and I don't need to go spend my money on another palette that I probably won't use that much but my mom actually actually surprised me with this for Christmas and I am so happy she did because I have been loving this. I mean, seriously, these three crease shades right here, oh my gosh, are life. So let me grab a brush and we'll hop right into one of those. <coughs> I just grabbed this little brush that I did receive in Ipsy. The brand is Beau Gracious. I don't know. That's probably totally not right, but um, we're going to go with this because I love the shape. I am going to go into Anaheim first. It's just a really, really nice neutral brown that's not too dark or not too light. I'm going to put that in my crease a little bit just for some definition. Alright, so I'm going to leave that brush to the side, grab just another really fluffy one, and just blend that out a little bit. Especially around the very, very top edge. I've been really trying, <laughs> I love how I'm trying to talk when I do this, I've been really trying to blend my eyeshadow a little bit better, but yeah, so this is me trying. Next I'm going to grab this Sephora domed crease brush and then also I'm going to go into zone and apply that to my outer corners. Zone is in the same family as Anaheim. It's just a slight bit darker and a little bit warmer. I always got to make sure to like scrub off my brushes though because I really need to clean them so there's probably like three different colors on this. into that first brush I'm not gonna add any more of Anaheim on it but I'm just gonna use it to blend it out for my 
my lid, I'm gonna go into baby, and I just realized I'm kind of doing the same look that I wore for Jerome and I's anniversary. I feel like it came out really well. It looked like I had makeup on, but it wasn't too, too heavy, so I just love that aspect. Baby is a really, really pretty um, metallic shade. It's almost like a golden with a little bit of rose in it. So I'm just gonna apply some Fix Plus on my finger, go into that, and then just pack it on my lid. And can you guys believe I just recently tried to fix plus for the very first time? I think I posted about it on Instagram, but I cannot believe I lived my life so long without this stuff. So I'm grabbing that first initial brush again with Anaheim on it, and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. But yeah, I really, really love that color. I just think it's so pretty on the lids. So I did decide I wanted a little bit more darkness in my crease there, so I am gonna go back into just a little bit more Anaheim and put that between the sparkly shade in my crease. And then just the fluffy brush again to blend it out just a little bit. So sticking with that initial brush, I just love this thing. I'm gonna apply um, just what's left on the brush to my lower lash line. And I didn't typically add a lot of eyeshadow on my lower lash line like when I would do looks, but I really loved just using the remainder of the product because it's so light and it doesn't darken things up too much. It's almost foolproof, guys, I'm telling you. And you can always go back and add more. So I'm gonna hold off on eyeliner right now because I'm gonna do my face, get a feel for my eyes, and if I wanna darken them up, I can at that point. But I'm gonna hop into the face with some of this Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer in Light. I love this stuff. It's one of the best drugstore concealers in my opinion, and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my hyperpigmentation, especially over here. I'm gonna be doing that with a beauty blender, and I've been loving my beauty blender lately, guys. Like, oh my gosh, I should've put this in my favorites video. So while I do this, I'm just gonna apply this a little bit to the places I need the most coverage but I want to talk to you guys because I am not one to conceal before I put on foundation. After realizing that I could switch those steps and do it after I applied my foundation, like it was life changing to me. The coverage was just so great and I really think I learned that from a YouTube video like forever ago. I really enjoyed doing it this way though with that It Cosmetics CC Cream because I just feel like especially where I have hyperpigmentation, it really, really combats it. I've been having a lot of trouble over here um, on this cheek especially with that like really dark spot right there and I find that when I conceal before I put it on the coverage is even greater so yeah I might still conceal a little bit after I get that it cosmetics product on but I just feel like this is a really nice step because the it cosmetics stuff does not cover everything all right so once I got my face based out a little bit I'm gonna take the bigger end of this and use about one pump of this and you guys will be able to see it's really really thick but that's why I love it it just feels so nice going on the skin just gonna try to distribute this as well as I can and then just start bouncing this little guy around my face it does have a very very interesting smell though and I have a cat hair on there hmm nice but it kind of smells like a clean cleaning solution <laughs> <laughs> that is probably not a great way to describe that stuff, but I don't mind it. I mean, I think it smells nice. It's so hard to bump this on my skin and then the mirror's like going like this because my whole head is like bouncing around. Around my eyes and like around my eyeshadow, I'm gonna try to clean things up just a little bit with this little beauty blender, but when I go ahead and put concealer under my eyes, I'll clean it up even more. Get my little nose too, I always forget my nose. But I just feel like whenever I put this over top of that concealer, I like the coverage so, so, so much more. And I definitely have to get down my neck with this. I just fear of like my face not matching my neck all the time. And that's the one thing I don't love about the Beauty Blender because it's a little bit hard to do that. And you're probably like, why the heck wasn't she doing her forehead? But I always just get a little, little bit more and I go up and finish the rest of my face. <laughs> and as always, I gotta get all this off my lips. I can't stand foundation on my lips. And of course, after I do that, my lips are super dry, so the Blistex 5 Star Lip Protected Chapstick. 
love this stuff. For my under eyes, I mean, you could obviously go in with that same Maybelline concealer, but I really like my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer um, for under my eyes just because it's super light and has a lot of coverage. So I'm just gonna apply about a pump of that to the back of my hand because whatever I waste or like whatever I don't use on my under eye area, I use around my face. So yeah, I just pat that in. I'm not too worried about the eyeshadow, especially the stuff on my lower lash line, just because we can always go back in and fix that. And I'm gonna just slide my finger just very very gently across that eyeshadow like the edge of it just to clean it up a little bit and for the rest of my face I'm just gonna go in and conceal a tiny bit now I really don't have to do this but I don't want to waste that concealer my lips are looking so red too by the way because I swatched a ton of lipsticks and guys check this out like I have this all over my arm it is stained and I'm going out today and people are probably gonna be like what the heck is on her arm but yeah if you guys haven't seen already on Instagram I should be posting or have already posted just a lot of new lip products that I've been trying out from trust from beauty from scorch makeup and we're using one of those today so yeah just make sure you check out Instagram if you love lip swatches because um, I definitely did a number on my lips last night <laughs> all right now I'm just being picky and trying to put this on my face so I don't waste it so now that we have that done, I'm going to go into a couple of NYX products. Now, I don't use a lot of NYX. I don't even really know why, but I've been trying their HD foundation and then also their HD concealer, which is really, really nice, guys. It's only like $4.99. So I got the lightest shade. Um, I think I could have gone at least one shade darker in this to match my skin tone, but because this is a little bit lighter, I like putting it under my eyes to brighten things up a bit. So that is exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to dot it around and blend it in but I like putting that initial concealer on first just so things don't become too too bright and look a little funny but guys I am very surprised with how much coverage this has like seriously I'm even thinking about going and getting the other shade and trying it around my face because this one unfortunately is too light to conceal like the problem areas because it'll just bring light to it and that's not good now that I look crazy and like I have no color to my face I'm gonna go ahead and set everything and this will bring a little bit of life back to my skin I'm gonna be using the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder in Nude. I'm going to be applying it with this little puff I mentioned in my favorites video that I love doing this guys because it just mattifies so quickly and it stays so well. But this powder I have been love love loving it. I know Emily Eddington raves about it all the time. It's like one of her favorite powders and guys I'm super impressed with it so far. And I'm gonna use a little bit of that same powder under my eyes, but I'm gonna grab one of my favorite brushes from Real Techniques, their little setting brush. So, so many uses for this thing. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows before I finish my eyes. So the first product in my little trio that I've been loving lately is this Maybelline Brow Drama Pomade Crayon. I did get this right when it came out, and when I first started using it, I'm like, uh, I don't know if I like it because it's not super precise. The thing I love about it, though, is that it lays down color really, really quickly. Like, I feel like I'm concentrating a little bit more in this video, but on those lazy days, I literally just go and I have brows. As far as the formulation goes, it goes on very, very smoothly. It's very velvety like when I put it in a swatch on my hand here And I feel like the color for my brows is really great I will say though that as I continue to use this the little point is diminishing So I'm like, uh-oh because what's gonna happen when it gets like flat and I'm going through my brows I don't think that'll be very good <laughs> for a little bit more definition though I'm going in with my new favorite drugstore brow product dare I say it the L'Oreal brow stylist definer This one is in brunette and I mean seriously talk about a dupe for the Anastasia brow is like I can't even get over it guys this thing is so amazing I feel like I have already mentioned this in a favorites video at some point but yeah just super super fine tip spoolie on the other side which makes things so so easy and yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and go around the outside of my brows to fill them in and just to define them a little bit more And last 
last but not least for my brows, this Brow This Way Rimmel Brow Styling Gel is amazing. I love this. It's super inexpensive for the drugstore. And I have the shade 002 Medium Brown. I love using this and I even reviewed it in a video. So if you want to see that, I'll link it down below for you. But this is one of those products that I got at first and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't really like it, but I can't stop using it. Even though you do have to be very careful, I feel like the brush could have been a little bit smaller. But if you just have any sparse spaces that maybe like the first two products didn't grab onto this really really compensates for that but it also has great staying power too but can you see that like it grabs to some of the hairs where it's not supposed to so sometimes I get frustrated because I have to clean things up but yeah, I think we're good on the brows now. Finishing up the eyes though, I'm gonna go back to that initial brush, how many times can I say it? And I am just going to blend out the edges of this just a little bit more because with that concealer, sometimes I feel like I can take away a little bit too much. And then I'm also going to run this across my lower lash line again. And finally, last but not least, the highlight, I'm gonna go into Skimp from the same palette and just apply it to my brow bone in my inner corner. Huge fail on my part, I just did my eyeliner without filming it, so I'm very sorry about that, but I did just do a winged liner look with my favorite Starlux Pro Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pin. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Mascara with the primer and the mascara, but oh my gosh guys, this is still one of my holy grails. I love using it with looks like this where I am wearing a little bit more makeup just because the volume is out of this world. If you guys haven't tried this and you love, love volume like I do, you definitely have to. Starting with the primer. It is white so I'm just gonna coat my lashes in this but I just remembered I have a full review on this if you guys want to see like before and after photos too I'll link it down below if you do but now I'm gonna go into the mascara side I love the wand on this it's just a really nice size and I love the little curve to it and it's a super moussey formula so it just grabs on super well I'm like hiding behind this mirror sorry about that <laughs> no. At least it didn't get in my eyebrow. That's that's a plus. For blush, I am gonna go into my Too Faced Sweethearts Perfect Blush Blush in Something About Berry, and this is one that I've just been really going to lately. I typically switch up my blushes a lot, but for whatever reason, I've just been going for this one lately. I'm just gonna use my Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush. This thing has seen better days. I need to get another one, but I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks. To my cheeks. Why do I say that so weird? To my cheeks. Are we finally on to lips? I think we are. So like I said, when I was swatching all those lipsticks last night, I was so, so happy when I swatched these. So I had to like put them in this video because guys, I feel like this might be my most worn lip product like from here on out after finding these. So these are from Scorch Makeup and I mentioned cat hair on the face again. And I mentioned them in, I think a different video. I gave them a little shout out. Maybe it was in like a favorites video or something, but they're a brand that I had never heard of. They just really contacted me because they wanted me to try some of their stuff. They originally came out with a matte version of lipstick that was a little bit drying, but they now have lip creams. They were kind enough to send me three shades of Voltage, which is more of a purple, and Neon, which is more of like a lighter fuchsia, and then also Shock, which is a little bit deeper in like that pink family. So I'm holding Neon and Shock right here. I'm trying to decide between the two of these, but oh my gosh, guys, like seriously, great, great packaging on this new formula, great brand in general. They're not telling me to mention these at all, but guys, I seriously was so blown away by the formulation on these and the color payoff that I just had to wear one today because yeah, I need to wear one all day to make sure they're still as great as I think they are. But I think today I'm going to swatch them because I kind of want to see the colors one more time. Neon, yeah, is definitely more of like a lighter pink, so I might go with Shock today. Shock is a little bit deeper and these also smell really really good too they smell like vanilla they smell kind of like mac lipsticks that's kind of weird so yeah those are the swatches just super quickly you guys can tell that these have like some amazing color payoff but i am going with shock today just because it's a little bit deeper and i think it's going to come off on camera a little bit better like it just glides on just glides on oh my gosh it's so pretty mm. it's just so pretty oh my gosh I am like so overwhelmed right now because I'm so excited. 
If you guys want to check out more about these or just the brand in general, I'll go ahead and include the link down below for you guys. I think these lip creams are $21, which I know sounds like a lot, but seriously, I think it's totally worth it for this formula. And last but not least, I'm just going to spray everything with a setting spray just because I feel like I'm looking a little bit powdery, um, but I'm just going to use this MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I never realized that was the real name, but I'm just going to use this all over my face. But I did want to mention that I've also been really liking the L'Oreal setting spray too. I hate though how it gets in my my hair every single time my hair around my face like gets so wet and I have curly hair and it just always makes me cringe but here we go at least the fix plus smells really good but that's everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this super casual, just random video. And if you guys want to see more like this, just make sure to give this a huge thumbs up. Please let me know any products you think I need to add to this routine or products you just think I'd love in general. Let me know what you think about that Gwen Stefani palette because seriously, like I love it so much more than I ever thought I would. So yeah, I need to go fix this hair before I have to leave. I literally just rolled out of bed this morning, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you next time. Bye.